Well, there you go. Okay. So, okay, th this picture depicts a war action in Holland near a town called Liesen, which is in the north of Holland. And as the German troops were advancing on Liesen, they come up against a school. And this painting here shows the school. This is the principal's house and where they lived. And the Germans were, the Canadians were advancing on this school. And as they got to the school, uh, the Germans started to pull out and they went a few hundred yards away and there was a sanatorium nearby and they retreated to the sanatorium. And Hank Dykman Sr. was about to take his son and daughter and wife down into the basement. And the last German leaving said, don't go in the basement. The Canadians have flamethrowers. If they think we're in here, they're going to set fire to the place and you won't get out. So Hank said to his family, we have to make ourselves known to the Canadians that the Germans are not here. So they went to the back door and he got a big white sheet and he got the two kids in front of him and his wife and they held up this white sheet and the Canadians come along and they were driving wasps which were a flamethrower that was mounted on a um, brain gun carrier or, oh, yeah, or a that. general purpose carrier and um, the brain gun carrier stopped one soldier dismounted grabbed his weapon walked up to the Dykmans and he said and the Dykmans said to him the Germans have left he then this young 19 year old soldier said maybe maybe not I need to check out uh, they could be standing behind you with weapons, weapons yeah, yeah, yeah. so anyways uh, he took the family a walk through and there were no Germans present so he come back to the door and waved back to his uh, comrades and said, place is clear, no Germans here. So then the Canadians took over this position. And that 19 year old soldier was one Lloyd Crate. Really? And um, he liberated that farm. Now, that, that picture is Lloyd Crate and Hank Dykeman Senior who waved the white sheet. They remained friends for years and they would visit each other. And that was taken at the uh, marina down at Christ Marine. Yeah. So anyways, they... Hank then emigrated to Canada. Hank Jr. emigrated to Canada. He became a man of the cloth and he Jeez, worked part-time at uh, the Guelph Penitentiary. Now, um, Ellen Newland was an artist who also worked at the penitentiary. Oh, yeah. So anyways, I can't remember which one of them left employment at the penitentiary. You know, they were part-time jobs for them. One of them left, and I really forget which one. I'll have to reconfirm that. But Hank said to, uh, Ellen said to Hank, both Dutchmen, of course, he said, I'm going to paint your 50-year-old memory of a 10-year-old boy. Ha, 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 that's nice. And this picture depicts a 10-year-old boy's memory. Yeah. Uh, Hitler, the Stukas coming, uh, the Panzers, and then Lease the on fire, and the, ca the Canadian troops coming. What is the name here? That's Leeson, the town of Leeson. Oh, L yeah. L-E-S-E-E-N, L -E -S -L -E -S -E -E I believe, Leeson. Yeah. That's the town of Leeson, the next small town. Right. And um, and that's the... That's the school, and there's a windmill. Now, so the school is where the white sheep was held up? Yes, at the uh, back, yeah. not this door, at the back door. At the back door, sure. Yeah, and this was the school. Now, and then... And it was Crate, the soldier that had come it, up to them yes. and cleared the house with Yes. Them. Well, that's pretty amazing, eh? Yeah, so it was like Crate. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's why the gentleman that had this picture 
found out there was a military museum here, and he said, I can't own this picture anymore. I think it should be in the military museum. Yeah, and rightfully so. And now, actually, there is a, a, a full-size copy of this hanging in the regimental museum in Kingston. Nice. That's another, that's another story. Yeah, another for story. For another day. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. I just want <laughs> Thanks, Sid, for this story, and we'll look forward to many more coming There in. is a PS to this. Okay, what's the PS? These gentlemen here. Okay, hang on. I'll just... Yes? They all died during this action. This campaign? This that person. day and two days after. Okay? Wow. Now, Hank, from this country... Yeah. Leeson became like Keswick is today. Leeson got built up. Right. New subdivision where this battle took place. Yeah, yeah. He, he partitioned the local government council at Leeson. Yeah. And when they expanded, he got... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I thought. He, eleven. He got... There's eleven people failed to come home. He yep. got 10 roads and one bridge named after all those men. Wow. And... So you can just... How there, much? There. There's pictures. Oh, I have pictures of the streets? Some of them, the names. Nice. And they were all named after these troops. And for that effort, Queen Giuliana gave him a humanitarian medal for that. You know, the impression that those times made on the individual people, you don't know where they went from that incident there. Yeah. The whole, everybody that was, in, both, both sides. Yes. And then went off out into the world, had to get, like, and the impression that that left. Yes. The effect on the whole globe. So this is a story we love to tell. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, you it's know, a lovely story. It's and, a, uh, you know, everything is all here. This whole wall tells the story here. And here... That's oh. where Leeson is, right there. Right on. Right there. So there's Leeson, and that's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the same thing. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. I know. Here. See this? Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. The Glens and Lee. That was about these in... Yes. That's it, that story. Let me, just, let me just get a picture of that, because beyond that, it would be hard to really get... I'm just going to get the light off of it. There, yeah, that's better. Just tip it up straight. Yeah. More? Like more straight like this. Yeah. So then it keeps the light. The light. Hang on. Okay, let me just go like this just to get the light yeah, off. Hang on. Hang on. Because the light is reflecting on that. There we go. That's much better. So I'll just come in. There we go. Perfect. Now, that is the story. Of the whole, of the okay. whole thing, Hank wrote that. Really, he hunted down every relative of these people, and he presented them this book. Wow! <laughs> you need to tell them. I think I have that. He presented that book. To do this. That's amazing. Yeah, he presented this yeah, book. And uh... He wrote this. He's a, he's a wonderful man. He's still living, and I talk to him. He comes up here on military day at times. Clearly a pinnacle yeah. time in his life. That, yes, that. he's a marvelous man. Marvelous man. And his name again, fully? Hank Dykeman. Hank Dykeman. This is in Cambridge, Guelph, that area. Okay. This is Hank Dykeman Sr. Uh, and this is, and that's, that's his that's son. That's the father, that, yeah, and that's the son who I'm talking he's about. He's the one who waved the he's white the flag. He's the one who waved the white flag. With his family. Yes. Oh, nice. Kim Narmer, Georgina Speaks, Sid Giddings. Thanks, guys.